I made a classic indie dough mistake and that took a while to realize that. I built an app that combines Pomodoro timers and breathing exercises for those who have ADHD. So here what's happened. I have ADHD and breathing exercises helps to calm down your brain to be more focused on things. Pomodoro timers do the same, also helps you to focus on short sprints of work. So I built an app that do both. I was solving my own problem, but I wasn't and still not able to explain in one sentence what this application is doing. I need basically to explain why it is like that. So, you know, it's hard for marketing, it's hard for ex to explain. And yeah, if it is hard to explain, then probably that's not good app idea. Is it meditation app? Is it productivity app? Maybe that's wellness or mental health app? Who knows? Who knows? And when you can't explain your app idea in one sentence or, I don't know, with one catchphrase, it's really hard to market, it's really hard to promote, it's also it's hard to rank for some keywords. Okay, what keywords should we rank for? Box breathing? Yes, maybe there is box breathing exercises in this application, but then imagine someone downloading it after searching for box breathing application and then see here kind of not very functional breathing application because that's just part of the functionality and Pomodoro timers and some Pomodoro streaks. Basically, that's not the app this person were looking for. So plenty of people download the application and do not use it. So I decided that I have to split this application in two and I already released box breathing application earlier and now I am working on rebuilding this application from scratch and this will be focused on productivity. So instead of one complicated to explain Frankenstein which trying to mix everything in one application, I will have two separate applications. Okay, let me show you how Focus Lock App looks now. And yeah, we also rebranding, changing name. So here is my timer. You can add, add custom tags if you are a premium user of the application. But okay, let's just go here and see what's new. We have app blocking in the app now. And yeah, we will need provide screen time access. And I'm still waiting for Apple to approve it. But let's say I would like to block, let's say, Instagram, X and TikTok. And now you can see that here we see that three apps are blocked during the work. So currently Instagram, everything is just fine. But as soon as I'm starting my focus timer, you can see that Instagram is blocked already. Nice, you can't use it anymore. And as soon as my focus timer will be ended, the application will be unlocked and I can use <laughs> Instagram again. And yeah, we can see basically what progress did I have, what I have today, not yet, what I had yesterday. We have reporting that was already in previous application. And yeah, in settings, you can manage tags as well. Let's unlock premium features. If I have premium version of application, I can basically manage tags. I can change them, for example, I maybe I do not use meetings, maybe I do not use planning or learning, but I would like to add, let's say, something like, I don't know, gaming. Something like that. Now we have a new tag for gaming. And yeah, that's basically in the nutshell the app. The biggest difference is that I'm adding this app blocking and focusing on the Pomodoro productivity and so on. Generally, I do not have much problems with wasting time on phone and I don't really kind of need screen blocking application and you can set limits for the application as well. For example, if you want to use Instagram just for an hour in a day or, 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 some, or something like that. But in this case, basically I am blocking those apps when I say it myself that I will work. And for example, if I'm doing programming, but I'm waiting on cloud to do some AI kind of black magic, I will not jump on phone to quickly scroll Instagram and so on. And yes, you can still open Instagram on web browser on Mac. I do not even try to synchronize the blocking applications between platforms. But 
I see that uh, browsing social networks in web are less kind of distracting than on phone because on phone it happens once in a while when I opening when I'm grabbing phone to do something and found myself I don't know half an hour or hour, hour later in the Instagram scrolling and don't even remember okay what exactly did I plan to do you know because I wanted to do something on the phone got notification maybe or something or open an Instagram I don't know to post something or look for some I don't know inspiration reference what I saw before and basically just start scrolling and I'm lost <laughs> but that doesn't happen on web and yeah no apps are locked and I suppose that to work on my task. So what's the lesson here? I think that should be one. Yes, I think that if you can't explain your application simply in sentence or few, then probably you are doing something wrong with your app and it will be hard to market that application as well. Yes, maybe if there is some mind killer feature and you have a few more features, then yeah, it's kind of easier, but in my case, it was a mess, that was a mistake, basically mixing two ideas in one, which didn't work well together. And if you see that you could build two big features in one application, maybe that makes sense to split them and build one first and then see if you really need to add that another one. And yeah, I kind of did my mistake that I built and launched an application with both features already in. I still think the power of indie app developers is to build small niche utility applications and iterate on them fast. So one problem, one solution, one customer, not, not complex applications. And sometimes in comments I'm asked, oh, why you are building simple applications? Wouldn't you like to build something bigger, more complex and so on? But guess what? Those simple applications making money and the more complex you become, it's harder to maintain and there is no guarantee it will make more money. I'm still waiting on Apple for approval for this screen time SDK to be able to block applications. As soon as that will be approved, I will release application in test flight and you can give it a try if you're interested in this app. And I will be interested to hear feedback from you, especially if you are someone with ADHD who is trying to use Pomodoro timer applications. Let me know what you are missing in them, what doesn't work for you and yeah. I am looking forward to release this application because I am using it already and I see it helpful. It's really nice to have option <laughs> to... That's the screen and app blocker I was looking for because I used multiple app blockers and most of them just limiting time for app use, basically total time of app use. But I, to be honest, I do not care if I'm using Instagram for 15 minutes or for an hour if that's something, let's say, at least a little bit productive, some kind of research or something, because I'm looking for trends to see what type of content I would create and so on. And sometimes I just want to scroll and relax. And yeah, that's fine. That's fine to go to the Instagram for your dopamine hit. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next one.